In today's class, we will study about conductors and insulators and their uses in our daily life. Take two spoons. One should be metallic while the other one made up of plastic. Put both the spoons in hot boiling water and hold both of them from their ends. After some time, you will notice that the metallic spoon is getting hotter from the other end also, while there is no such change in temperature in the plastic spoon. Which means that metal spoon allows the heat to transfer through it, while plastic spoon does not allow heat to transfer through it. The substance which allow heat to transfer through them are called as conductors of heat. For example, silver, copper, iron, etc. All the metals can easily transfer heat through them. That is why we use metal for making cooking utensils as they are conductor of heat. On the other hand, Handles of the cooking utensils are made up of wood, plastic, etc. so that we can hold them easily as they prevent heat to transfer from utensil to our hand. These substances are insulator of heat. Thus, insulators are the substances which do not allow heat to pass through them. For example, wood, plastic, cotton, etc. Air and water are also insulator of heat. Now let us discuss the uses of insulators and conductors in our day-to-day -day life. We use ovens to cook food quickly. The oven is made double walls and that space between the walls of the oven is filled with wool or cork which are the insulators of heat. Thus, they help to trap the heat inside the oven. In summers, ice is kept in a gunny bag or it is covered with sawdust as they have fine pores in it. Air gets trapped in these pores. Trapped air is an insulator of heat, so it does not allow outer heat to reach ice. Thus, ice does not melt quickly. Woolen clothes which we use in winters to prevent ourselves from cold are also insulator of heat as they are loosely woven. Thus, they trap air in their fine pores. They prevent our body heat to go out. Therefore, they keep us warm during winter. 